Kauai Mayor Bernard Carvalho Jr. wants to take his years of public service and his passion to the state level. Carvalho announced yesterday he plans to run for lieutenant governor in 2018. We welcome him to wake up today this morning. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good to see you, my brother. Happy to be here. Long time no Mahalo. see. All yes. right, uh, what made you make this decision to take this step? You know, I served as mayor right now. It's going to be 10 years, 10 years. in public, total 30 plus years with civil service. And I'm just ready for the next step. And as mayor, I've done many different things. My administrative uh, experience and my ability to pull, pull people together takes me to this opportunity. And my wife and my family made the decision together first, Absolutely. family first, that this is a path we needed to take to do what we need to do to serve the people of Hawaii. And it's a good time in your life uh, as far as family and everything yes. else. This is something that you yes. can do. You know, I'm going to be honest with you, Mayor, many people feel that uh, this position has not been utilized to the best capacity, its full capacity, um, both Democrats and Republicans. Yes, yes. How do you plan to change it? You know, this is, I look at this position as a bridge, connecting people, bringing people together, understanding what is, hearing the voice of the people, um, being that bridge. Uh, making sure that we never forget and, and putting action into a, with aloha into everything that we do. So I want to be the person and that, that uh, leader to really pull people that that's my strength. And I've proven it back home and I look forward to doing it here and, and, and spreading out through this entire state. You know, current Lieutenant Governor Shan Tsutsui already said he's not running for yes. re-election. Uh, state Senators Josh Green and Joe Tokuda said they're in. Uh -huh. What separates you? I know it's too, a little early to be doing campaigning, but what separates you from, from the opponent? Well, well, I drive out of my driveway, and I'm right smack dab in the middle of the community. You know, being a mayor, you're out there every single day, and I have this administrative uh, understanding and experience under me, under my belt, if you will, being able to reach out to all of my fellow mayors and having to deal with the legislature and working closely with them as well. So I have that experience already. So now I'm ready to take what we've done back home, if you will, and mm -hmm. with the neighbor island thinking and bringing it to the next level. And that is why I think this is the opportunity for me now to, be, to lead in this way. When, when we talk about running for state office, uh, a lot of it has to do with name recognition. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you plan to get that across the rest of the counties, uh, not just Kauai, Oahu, but also Maui County, Hawaii County? How I'll be out and about visiting the various islands. I did once upon a time be a rainbow warrior, for, for you sure. know, so people know on, on that level my, my experience and background, but more importantly, being able to really reach out and bring people together, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm ready. I'm committed. We have a team in place. and. Uh, with my experience and understanding how to reach out and bring people to the table, that is what I think we need to focus on in order to deal with all the issues that we're dealing with today. All right, Mayor Carvalho, running for lieutenant governor in 2018. If we had some time, I would ask you to go one-on-one. -on -one oh, yeah, me, me and you, me and you, right there, change point stance. But already. I've been told to wrap it up, so we're going to keep going. <laughs> <It's good>. for, <laughs> we have time. No, we, we have time. time. No, 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 no. No, no we don't have time. <laughs> okay. Of course, I'm a former UHO Rainbow Warrior, very proud yeah. and also very proud. Dolphin.